Welcome back to Talent TV. We have another special episode, and this one is going to be dedicated to Turkey Day. I'm Jayla. And I'm Davion. Instead of the regular stuff, and find out what people are thankful for this year. Talk about football with sports giving. And let's not forget the food and family traditions. Dinner ready! That and more. You know what, Nick? I'm glad to start this tradition with my Town TV crew. But you know what my favorite tradition we do with my family? Is we get a wishbone and we like to split it. And whoever gets the biggest part of the wishbone uh, has the most luck. That's, that's cool. That's really cool, Alan. You know, my family, we have a huge cookout and we gather friends and family for the day. Here are some of the traditions you guys had. Well, my family tradition is we all come to my granny's house and eat and then watch a football game. My family tradition, all my family, they come to my house and we eat and we chill and we play basketball. We don't play football, but the men watch football. We just hoop. Thanksgiving family traditions, as a coach, you hope to be playing that week and practicing. Um, you know, growing up, we didn't have, uh, we didn't have a full week off, you know, so we got off Wednesday and you know, just get around our family, spend some time being thankful for uh, spending time with your family. And, and uh, one thing growing up, you know, we played a, we had a big football game in the neighborhood and uh, always did that. And, uh, but, you know, we're going to have, we usually eat fried turkey and, and you know, your good greens. And, and uh, always, hopefully mom makes some squash casserole and you hope mom makes, uh, she makes a great cheese, cheesecake. You know, and then when you get married, uh, you know, sometimes you got to see your family, uh, your in-laws. We would we spend time with them uh, on Thanksgiving and uh, blended both families together. But uh, you know, the main thing is is just being thankful and and uh, that the good Lord's given you another year to be able to celebrate those and, and thankful for all that they do. I'm thankful for um, my family and the new opportunities that I have at Red I'm thankful for my family. Thank you for the basketball team, the coaches, uh, the school, and get my education and all that. Uh, I'm thankful for this uh, Thanksgiving. I'm just thankful that we get the opportunity to uh, be in a great country and an opportunity uh, to have, I, I'm blessed to have a great family. Uh, both my mom and dad are still living and uh, my in-laws and um, I've got a wonderful wife and, and I think it just boils back to family uh, at this time in life is just being part of that and you know I have a great job and get to live in a great community with uh, great people and a blended community and, and just what the real world's about and get to uh, be around a lot of great kids every day and uh, see their successes. That's, that's uh, what I, I enjoy being a coach and, uh, and a teacher. It's really cool to find out what different families do for their traditions. For me, Thanksgiving is a new tradition because in Lima, Peru, we didn't celebrate Thanksgiving. But since I've been living back in the States, my family here is teaching me how they celebrate the holiday and I really love it. It's a specific day where we all come together, we share stories and memories, and well, we eat lots, lots of food. Those are some pretty cool family traditions. I'm gonna have to try some myself. But one thing we do is we all come together, all my family, we just come to one spot, we get a whole bunch of food, and we watch football. Speaking of football, what y'all got for us? Football is synonymous with Thanksgiving, and many families look forward to the big matchup. One of the biggest games always involves the Cowboys. This team has been playing on Thanksgiving Day for the last five decades, with a record of 27, 22, and 1. While their record has been up and down over the years, it's still the team America loves to watch, even as painful as this season may be. Talking about painful moments, it wouldn't be Thanksgiving without some unbelievably painful moments. Who can forget the win that wasn't? The Dallas Cowboys faced off against the Miami Dolphins. The year was 1993. Cowboys Stadium was covered in a blanket of snow. In the final seconds of the game, 
the Cowboys blocked the 41-yard field goal attempt and the ball rolled to the 10-yard line. The NBC announcer called the game over. But before the play was whistled dead for the Cowboys' victory, Leon Litt charged in, touched the ball, and it was recovered by Miami on the one-yard line. They didn't miss the field goal attempt this time, and they beat the Cowboys 16-14 in the final seconds. Upsets are heartbreakers for fans, so it's good that there are also some pretty great moments celebrated by the teams and their fans. Little Costco fans are certainly celebrating more than just a great moment. The 2018 season has been a record-breaking season for the Hawks, and that they went from 2-8 season in 2017 to 91 this year. That's right. This record is the best regular season record the Hawks have had in the school's entire history. The dedication Coach Ross and his staff have had to create a winning culture has definitely paid off. The Hawks will be playing in their first playoff game in several years. Kickoff will be at 7.30 in Goodlow Stadium. So fans, be sure to make this game a part of your Thanksgiving. There's so many reasons to be thankful for this holiday. I am thankful for all my friends and family I get to spend Thanksgiving with. I'm thankful for moving to Red Oak and meeting new people. And I'm also thankful for all the opportunities I've been given and living my life. Now let's see what our Hawk brothers and sisters are thankful for this year. Uh, I'm thankful for my teammates, for sure, and the new coaching staff. And uh, just blessed to be here, really. Blessed for a new day. Thankful for time with my family. That's my like, biggest thing is my family, so I'm just thankful to have time with them. Uh, I look forward to spending time with my cousin because I don't get to see her that often. Well, let's see. I guess my health. I've had some health issues here recently. Um, my family, most definitely. And my job here at Red Oak ISD because I love my job. Thankful for my friends who support me every day and I'm especially thankful for my mother who's my biggest fan. At a time when our nation is so divided, Thanksgiving brings us closer together to spend time with the loved ones and create long-lasting memories. Be sure to take some time this Thanksgiving to let friends and loved ones know how thankful you are for them. Thanks for tuning in. You won't see us next week due to the Thanksgiving break. But you can come back on November 30th, and that's French. From our town TV. From all of us to all of you. We want to wish you a safe and... Happy Thanksgiving! Thanksgiving.